Hi everybody, my name is Erin the Librarian, and a lot of you might recognize me from school. But we've been out of school for almost mm, two and a half months now, so some of you might be more used to seeing me on the internet. Today I'm going to read you this story called Mousternaut by astronaut Mark Kelly. Um, Mark Kelly um, has been to outer space a few times and he was on the International Space Station. The reason I'm reading this today is because some of you may know that a new space shuttle went to outer space this week to take some new astronauts to the space station. So I thought it'd be fun to read about this little mouse who went to outer space. So this is illustrated by C.F. Payne. And it's based on a partially true story. The space shuttle is set for launch. The astronauts are doing their last minute training to prepare for the mission. NASA is sending along some special guests for this flight. And they are training too. Who are these special guests? Why, there's some mice. One mouse is smaller than all the rest. His name is Meteor. You can see him right here. The other mice know he won't be chosen for this important mission, but someone has his eye on Meteor, and he's impressed with the little mouse's hard work. The shuttle commander announces that six mice will be selected for the flight. He picks five, five of the biggest, strongest mice. Uh-oh, but for the sixth spot, to everyone's surprise, he chooses Meteor. <laughs> Look at how surprised he is. All six are taken to their new home, a special cage called the Mouse Hotel. The other the mice are nervous as the countdown begins, but not Meteor. Ready? Can you count with me? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! There they go. Into outer space. At first, the mice are pressed flat against their cages by the power of the launch. But then the pressure goes away, and the other mice cling to their cage in terror. But not Meteor. He loves the feeling of weightlessness. Look at how happy he is. Hey, little guy, the commander says, you're a natural, a real, live mousetronaut. See, that's mouse and astronaut put together. Meteor is taken from his cage and he gets a tour of the shuttle. He can even see the earth way off in the distance. The astronauts are all very busy during their 14-day flight. There are spacewalks to take and experiments can be conduct, but what can Meteor do to help? He's just one little mouse. What can he do? Then, while answering email, one of the astronauts notices that the key to the control panel... <gasps> Look at that. It's stuck between two monitors. When he tries to get it out, it accidentally gets wedged further down. Oh no. This isn't good, says the commander. We need that key back. One astronaut tries to move the monitor. It doesn't budge. Another slips her fingers into the crack, but the key is stuck down too deep. One even tries pushing it out with a long piece of metal. You see it right there? 
but no luck. No one can reach it. Hmm, the astronauts are getting worried. But as they discuss the problem, a tiny figure has an idea. Hmm. Being the smallest isn't always a bad thing, Meteor says. Maybe I can be useful on this flight. Look at how worried they are. What is Meteor going to do to help? Do you think you know? There he is. Meteor squeezes his way into the crack. The space is dark and cramped, but Meteor spots the key. Do you see it right there? There's the key, and here's Meteor. And he tugs at it with all his might. Hey, look at what our tiny friend has done, the commander says. He saved the mission. Hooray! When the space shuttle returns to Earth, Meteor is declared a hero. Look at that. He's even given a brand new uniform and an official title, Maustronaut. All the astronauts cheer and applaud, but Meteor is already thinking about his next big mission. The end. So, um, as we said in the beginning, this is based on, partially, by, based on a true story. Um, astronaut Mark Kelly flew on the Space Shuttle Endeavor, and many animals were taken for science experiments in space. So, during his time on the flight in 2001, there were 18 mice on board. All of them, with one exception, clung to the inside of their mesh cage during the entire mission. But one mouse, smaller than all the rest, seemed to enjoy the experience and effortlessly floated around his cage. The story of Mastronaut was inspired by that one little mouse. So, let this be a reminder to you that there's a whole universe out there and sometimes being the smallest doesn't mean that you aren't going to get picked. Sometimes it means you're going to be the most valuable person on the mission. Well, I hope you all have a happy week and a happy reading. Know that I'm thinking of you and I love you and I miss your faces. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.